Daughters of the Dust. Outsiders call them Geechees or Gullahs. They were different from other black Americans. They had their own culture and language. They had their own gods. Their world was changing. They had to move forward or cease to exist. The women were the carriers of their traditions and beliefs. We're here with Julie Dash, who is the writer, director, and producer of Daughters of the Dust. Daughters of the Dust. Can you tell us a little bit about Daughters of the Dust and uh, the history on that for people who haven't seen it, for people who don't understand? Okay, Daughters of the Dust is a story about uh, a family at the turn of the century and they're preparing to migrate north. Um, the film focuses on the women of the family who are the carriers of their traditions and beliefs. And uh, it's set in the sea islands of the south, uh, the Gullah Sea Islands. Okay. And the Gullah people are the Geechee people. Could you make a distinction there or tell us exactly who they are? Well, the Geechee are descendants of uh, African captives who live along uh, the Atlantic coast in the Sea Islands as far away down as the uh, Sea Islands off of Florida. Um, they call themselves Geechees. The anthropologists usually refer to the language and the people as Gullah, but they're one and the same. Some critics are saying, uh, are questioning the authenticity of the reading of the Quran in 1902. Is there a reason why you put that in the film and it's not authentic? Yes, um, it's not only authentic, I brought it back down to 1902. That happened actually during the time of slavery. Okay. Uh, Bilal Muhammad was uh, uh, living on the Sea Island and he was perhaps on the last slave ship that came uh, to the Sea Islands, and he was in fact a Muslim. Okay, that's interesting. Most people don't know that. Exactly. They, uh, many of our religions, just as the other cultural traditions, persisted and survived the Middle Passage. And for those who are interested, you can go to the Smithsonian Institute in uh, Washington, D.C., and you can find um, the actual Bilal Muhammad Quran, handwritten Quran. Okay. And where were you born yourself? I was born in New York, but my father's D.C. and he was born down there. Right. Yeah. Uh, did he tell you what it's like growing up there? Do you know anything about that Alan personally? Yeah, I mean, uh, he was like a uh, D.C. in New York. I mean, right. you know, the whole family, and he has a dialect, and uh, we'd go down and visit my grandmother and uh, my uncles, and uh, so I was basically raised in Geechee culture, but raised in uh, in New York. Okay, well how originally did you get into film? Oh, uh, I got into film, I just kind of stumbled into it. I went to an after school workshop and they had equipment and it was like fun, so I started making film. I did a piece for HBO, Showtime, um, some music videos and uh, a commercial and um, Frayed House, a short film, so, and 